In this video I will try changing the outfit of a character. This will be helpful for designers looking for patterns and designs. I searched, down, for woman and I got the subject. I can start with any of these images. I will resize the downloaded image to work but the image size is already around 1000 pixels. The AI model can work with this size. I will open the canvas of a similar size to the image. Next, I will drag the image into the canvas and add it as a new layer. This is the subject added just now, and below are the two default layers. To begin we need to select the outfit or I should just make a mask because we are working with layers. Right click the layer having our subject, go to add, then click this add local selection. Our selection will be visible here. Select this layer and on the top you should see the color palette with black and white color. White color is used for selection, painting with black makes the area unselected. So, if I select the color white, make sure the opacity is 100. Selecting using white color will not work because this selection layer for the mask is already white. So, I will be using black color. The unselected areas are identified by this red color. The image used here is a low quality image from the internet. I am sure if it works here then it will definitely work in your case. I am done using black color on the mask layer. If you have somehow messed up the selection, like this, you can use the white color and reverse the selection. I hope you remember I said, white color is selected and black is unselected. Right now it's the opposite, I have used the brush with black color to deselect the dress. Next, I will go to the select option and I will invert the selection. Now the dress selected is the white area and the unselected area is in black. If you think about why I used reversed, instead of unselecting the area outside the dress, then I suggest you try doing it. When you move the brush at the edges of the image, you should notice the mask layer getting bigger in size. I don't know why it happens. However, I got the dress selected in now, in this specific area, we can add style to the dynamics of the gown. I hope what I said made any sense to you. Click this circular icon to hide it for now. Before continuing, I will add a composition layer on top of the mask for the dynamics. This name is repeated due to the same image, let me rename it as a composition, or I will just type comp in short. I needed to collect some styles, so I searched for more gowns. And I think I can take any image from here. This looks good, I will save it. She looks good, I will save it. So the styles are ready to be added, the thumbnail is not visible because my paint software does not support JPG image for some reason. I have kept the image opened in the browser for reference. I added the first image as a new layer. It's on the top here. I will use the selection tool to adjust the image. You should try getting a similar size image, it may give you better results. On the top I have the style gown, below that I have the composition, I can hide both. This is the image I used to make the mask. To have this working, I will bring the selected gown by right-clicking the layer and then the last option here. You can see the dotted line appeared around the gown. Next I will add the control net. I will use the style control net. This gown one is the style I want for reference. So, I will select this layer in the style control net. I will add one more control net for composition. This composition layer is where the composition control net is supposed to work. The strength can be adjusted and it works around 60 and 70. Then click refine. 
I got the result and the character looks affected for some reason. If you look at the result here, there is this white border after the gown. Some extra area is generated after the dotted line. In the configuration, click this diffusion and there are some settings related to the selection area. I will decrease it all and see if it works. Click refine. And it works. So, you can see the gown has been changed. Select any of the results to accept and apply. There are some problems and I think it comes from the style image which has to be fixed. I tried uploading a pattern with some adjustment. Hide the selected mask to adjust the newly added image. Bring the selected mask back. The style control net will be on the pattern layer and the composition will be the same. I want the pattern in the same dynamics of the dress. The selected mask is on the top and below is the pattern and the gown. There are only two styles, a gown and a pattern. Hope it's clear. I will adjust the control net effect and then click refine. And these are the results. This looks better. I tried the second dress with leaf and flower design. Hide the selection mask layer to adjust the new image. I can hide the style and keep it below the selection mask. I hope it's clear. The last image I downloaded was this blue color dress. So, I am done adding new images. In the style control net, I will select the second gown. It had the leaf and flower design, let's check what result we get from this design. The character and the background got changed, because I forgot to activate the selection mask. The entire image was processed in this attempt. I will click refine again. This is the expected result. This one looks good. I will try the last blue dress by changing the layer in the style control net. The blue gown turned like this. The design is not bad, but I think it should have been something completely blue. So, I tried multiple times and also gave a prompt. This is the best I was able to get. The gown looks good and I think this should have given the idea to the viewers. The hands are a problem if they come around the selected area. Let's keep it a different topic. Let me know if you have a fix for such a case. I will be looking at what can be done. Maybe a follow-up video for fixing the hands.